Thank you. Well, as the weather heats up, more people are planning summer vacations that could be at a short term rental. However, lawmakers are proposing new regulations impacting homeowners and renters. News Channel 3's Tyler Brummett has reaction tonight from South Haven. Tyler. Yeah, Jessica, good evening to you. A series of bills could actually require renters to have to pay an extra fee. One of the sponsors of these bills actually tells me that he thinks that this would ultimately help people who live in these vacation communities by helping to ease the financial burden. Right. Like especially with how expensive things have become nowadays, like it is, Gas it does get a food. lot harder when traveling. A weekend trip to the beach could soon cost you more. State lawmakers are proposing a series of bills for rental properties that, if passed, would lead to a 6% tax increase for units rented 15 or more days a year. Right now, the burden of, of that um, lack of revenue coming in falls on the, the taxpayers who are here in our state locally rather than those visiting. And I don't think that's right. I think we have to make sure that it is not our local community shouldering the burden. Representative Jason Morgan is a sponsor of the bill. He tells me he wants this bill to help keep tourist destinations thriving. And experts say bills like this are common. A lot of times people are looking at short-term rentals for what a short-term rental provides. That is a place to gather, a place to, you know, have a little bit more control over your environment, to not have shared spaces, to be able to cook your own meals, to understand the community a little bit better or to bring families together. But some people we spoke with say this would cause them to think again before booking a trip. If I'm on a budget, definitely, because like we have to consider gas and if we're going to like parks or anything, tickets and groceries and all of that stuff. Now, Representative Morgan tells me ultimately these bills still have a long way to go before they're voted on. He says lawmakers will discuss them even more and there could be even more changes. We're live tonight in South Haven. Tyler Brummett, News Channel 3.